let us continue playing Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. When we last left off, I have bought some equipment. I basically just picked up a few... Oh, let's get rid of that. Yes, I always try to notice that when I'm doing Windows mode, especially when doing these sorts of games, because I, I always seem to forget. I have to click on the screen to get it to play, and then, you know, whatever. Anyway, stuff and things. So, what we're now going to be doing is we're going to go to the pub, and we are going to find some jobs. We have a reasonable amount of funds and we need to keep some money on hand at all times because of course jobs cost money. This is actually a... Right, you can get jobs which are dispatch jobs, which is what this one. And that means basically you send the clan member out to go and do that by himself, which is what I'm going to do here. Does mean though I'm not going to be able to convert him to a thief just yet, but that'll be fine. He'll go out, do that, and we'll see. Next, we have Snow in Lutia. Um, we also have the Thesis Hunt. Uh, it's taken by bandits and across the Lutia Pass. Okay, we'll take both of these jobs on. Because they're both in the same place in any case, so that makes sense to me. And Snow in Lutia. Okay, we shall definitely take a load of... Oh, got that. Got it. Done? Yes, good. Right, leave. So we'll be one person down, but it just means we can get some straight experience points to the remaining people. So, which one do we want to do first? Let's do Snow and Lucia first. Mission Snow and Lucia. Okay, and the laws. We are not allowed to confuse, it's recommended to Berserk. And that's fine, we can live with that. So, soldier at the front. Mont Blanc will go to the back. Anri to there. Actually, no, Anri can go back here as well. And Miriam. Who we do probably want to be concentrating most on if we can here. Right, so we only have five people at the moment in the clan. We'll be doing this for five. To win, defeat all enemies. Should be fairly simple, this one, I think. Um, I'm actually going to wait in position with Yankee here. Going to go for a boost on you. I'm just going to let them come to me for the first round. As much as I can. So she's now basically improved her weapon attack, so she'll do double damage, I think, in the next round. And they've moved closer. More importantly, they win weapon range. So those are level 3. This guy's level 4, so he's the highest level person who can do anything about. And now he's in range. And he missed. Right, unsurprisingly, I'm going to white magic Mont Blanc the highest level person in our party. Grind those heals! While then, I suppose I'm going around to the back and striking. Okay, 18 and 12. Um, I think more threat from these guys at the moment, so... Mont Blanc. Yeah, we'll see what we can do with you. Does hit. Okay. Now we kind of want to try and finish this person off. So fight. 17 damage. And Miriam can now get into position to do a shot for kill. 18 damage, 75% chance. That's good. Missed. That is a pain, because you're the one we need to level, really. Meanwhile, um, our white mage is getting attacked. Actually, I'll, I'll correct that. My white mage is getting destroyed.
this isn't a problem though, and you're still next to Mont Blanc, so. Like magic. Keeping the XP game going. Right, Singulus is now going to attack our Fencer again. And the Judge, who will just observe and do silly things for no reason. Right, since I'd rather not have our White Mage attacked anymore by you, let's go on the attack. 27 crit, and also push back to base. May not have been what we wanted, but still, it's happened now. And I suppose this gives Mont Blanc another kill. One down. Eight XP and another judge point. Let's have a go at this, because if this kills, then there we go. Another death, another judge point, another 12 experience points. Would have, again, preferred Miriam to have them, but but we'll work on this. Come on, for 12 experience points, hit. Got it. 12 XP earned, you're halfway down to level 3. Unfortunately, you are now out. Not the end of the world, of course, because, you know, it's just a single mission. But I would have preferred to do some more grinding. I might actually leave her back one mission and just have a... Well, the thing is, it's, it's kind of more efficient to have her attack things because she's kind of low level compared to everything else. She'll gain more experience that way. But she's got a guaranteed way of always gaining 10, so... Give Mob Block another kill, aren't I? Because I could always fight Yankee. Yep, you can do this. You can fight your own hard members for experience points. This game at times is a bit strange. First aid. But if you desperately need XP, you'll take it wherever you can get it. 10 XP and recover some experience points, and Yankee will earn another kill, I think, the way he's going. Okay, not quite, but another 10 experience points nonetheless. <laughs> 38 crit. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have bopped him over the head. But it doesn't matter. We're going to keep going with what we're doing. Have a cure spell. Fourteen XP earned. You've got to be quite close to leveling by that point. Okay. Black magic, fire, and I imagine you're quite close to death, aren't you? Alright, this might kill, but it will for me next attack will definitely kill, almost certainly. Another eight experience points earned, and Yankee now will definitely earn his kill, we hope. There we go. Ten XP earned, another judge point, and that will do nicely. I think should be safe now. By the time we brought those kids home. I kind of missed what the point of the mission was, actually, because I didn't read that. Oh well. The shit is done. Okay, so we gained a load of AP, and we gained some more stuff. We have a second mission in Lucia Pass. Let's just see what the laws are first. Actually, it'll all be the same if we don't move on. So, pieces hunt. Hey, 
Hey, Mont Blanc. Come on. Why would bandits be interested in the thesis anyway? Kupopo, maybe they're nerdy bandits. Some thieves are interested more than money, Kupo. Mm, yeah, you're probably right. Hey, there's someone there. This isn't what I asked for. I want Colvin's thesis, not Delali's. Hey, man, we got you a thesis, just like you asked. Well, I can only give you half your feeling. That's not an option, Grant. Pay up. Looks like you were right, Shen. Bandage just wanted money after all, Kupo. Don't worry about that. Let's get the thesis back. Hey, barging that. <laughs> barging the humble out of the way for that. What's that kid yelping about? That's no ordinary boy. Look, he's of a clan. Probably was supposed to reward for that thesis. Ah, this is getting here in business. Making me play nice then, is there? Okay, there's quite a few of these. Okay. Yinke, forward. And Reese are there. And Miriam's are there. Kinda wishing I did have another person, in all fairness, but we'll carry on. We shall make do if we can. Get ready! Okay, so their lead is level 4, and thieves move quite a far distance, which is why we wanted our thieves to be ready. Carl, level 3. He's gonna move for an attack, and. He's gonna get for something. Does hit for 13. Alright, counter attack. out of the way if I can here. So 75, 11 damage. Good shot. So my main, my main goal is to keep her out of the way and earn her some experience points here. Oh, there's a human archer there as well. Is going to take a shot at Shin. Won't do a lot of damage even if it does hit. Right, so we did get bopped over the head just a little while ago, so we will spend some points to cure that. Henry has leveled up successfully. And you can position yourself there. And I believe now this is going to be an attack on Mont Blanc. Oh, mana damage. I wonder if he just lost MP for that, but. Alright, anyway. Let's go and fight you back. 17. Yeah, I think that's a better position for me to be in right now. So, Pedro, what do you got? I've been advancing towards. I don't think you've got to move this turn. You don't. Right. I think now this calls for some burnination. target both of them without hitting my own guys, so... Hmm. Alright, fine. Fire damage back. We definitely have some issues developing, but... This should be doable. Carl, you're nearly dead. I wish I could have done you now, actually. Steel Gill. The Goit! He saw 45 Gill. That's all he did. He didn't do any damage, but... But 
but it's going to cost him. One out. Ten experience points earned. Another judge point. Okay, Trevor. You do some healing shenanigans, I think, here. Yes, you are. The duel of the white mages has begun. Right, so from Miriam's perspective, I think it's, rather than going for the damage, I think it's going to be better for me to get to higher ground. And go for a boost attack, for an A and boost. Because the only target she can really hit from there is the level 2 um, person that's closest to her. I'd rather not do that. It's also worth noting, I believe, that when they level up, they immediately reset to 0. Oh, darn it. Yeah, I was looking at it, but with that rock in the way, I can't actually get the cure to work from there, so we're going to do that. And if I sound really in a little bit of trouble. So, we've got to keep the soldier alive. Oscar? He does have a much better shot at me now. Unless we decide to go for something else. You know what I didn't equip, which I actually thought about? There's a reason why I want to think about that now. We'll get, see if I can actually do it mid mission. I'm going to say I can, actually. That was a lucky shot that missed. And that's a hit. And it's generally sticking on the majors. Okay, because of the threat to our mage group, I'm going to actually return you and go for a fight here. If this hits, you level up to level 4. Good work. Fortunately, our thief now has free reign to go and do some attacks on the side. God darn you, gill thief. Is though. Somebody is rather well aligned for us right now. Okay, one. Gonna move because that might give my monk a chance to get in. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to move into there, but that position will do for now. Once I do want to level people up, I think it's more important to just get rid of him right now. Ten and another judge point. Yeah. Okay, so now there are four. And Ruben's getting himself a little surrounded. So looking at things... That's probably the best shot we can make. Turn up to 12. Do the Curie goodness. And now we'll see how the archer looks. Up. The reason I'm saying this is because I did actually deliberately buy a Green Beret which has the Block Arrows ability on an Archer, and I did not equip Miriam with it. And she got pretty with a bow. She might actually be out of this rate, actually. Nineteen, that might... Living on the edge. But it misses. Right, Jim from behind. 
Oh, I noticed this guy's counter. Ah, that didn't work. But yeah, counter is a thing. Meanwhile, Mont Blanc will try and just save Miriam a little bit here. Trevor goes for a pop on the head of Mirio, I'm not going to be happy. That's exactly what they're going to do. Darn it. Well, might as well keep going. Counter or not, it's the best way to go at this point. 19, and the counter fails. Of course, the counter does go from a front-facing thing, so the chances of hitting are usually slightly lower, but... But either way... Keep going with who we got here. I'm going to have to do, put some effort into just leveling her up, or I might change her class and make her not an archer, but archers are useful here. Archers are very, very definitely useful in this game. A little bit of a pain the little up as you're seeing. Okay, shots to the back of Yankee. Eight damage. Well, I think the Mage Squad can deal with that, um, with those three, really. Petra's only a little two soldier, and he's on the attack. Nah, he can heal that. That won't be a problem. Ivolt, though, might be a problem. Yeah! Darn you! Stop gunning for my white mages! Well, that ends that. So now I do have to kill these off. And I have no more healing shenanigans to do. On the bus side, you're not going to be alive long enough to experience the joy of killing my white mage. Except that they don't actually die in this. They do, they do kind of have missions where death is possible, but um, we'll get to those a bit later in the game. Right, Yankee might as well go straight up and try and have a fist fight with the archer. Half shots. 24. Mont Blanc not going to be able to get quite close enough, so I'm happy to go with a double attack. White Mage, of course, does have slight resistances to fire, but... But we did get the Archer killed, so there's another six experience points and another judge point. Will the White Mage go for the bomb? He will. Pop on the head for five. Yeah, really regretting not having all my people for this, but... But ultimately, it's turned out okay. You should be able to kill the white mage here. Just leaving the one soldier. Whom I can't get to because my movement is terrible. Um, first save then, I want to turn some AP. It also does cure status effects, which is sometimes useful as well. Right, Mont Blanc then. Around we go, and... Hopefully that will be mission. Maybe not. Yes, random judge moves. He will occasionally move corpses for no reason. Okay, soldier's in retreat, and I imagine he can use a first aid skill. Which 
means I believe Yankee is gonna take his kill. Oh, there. Wrong, wrong position. Maybe it will allow you to take back moves in this because it's quite nice. We should show off the monk tech at some stage, but. For now, six grid points there, another judge point. And that was two successful missions, so I think for that, at this stage, we'll call it a video. And then hang on these engagement things. Yeah, just ignore the. Ignore our fallen white mage and our fallen archer, and we did fine. In truth, though, that wasn't a particularly difficult mission. And this is like the table of contents, so. All the pages there, Koopa? Yep, they're all in here. All you have to do is bring this back and we're done. Doing a Koopo job, Shin. You really think so? Thought it would be best to wait a little longer. But I think we're ready for the clan wars. Clan wars? It's not really a war, Koopo. But we compete with other clans for turf. The bigger your turf, the cheaper it is to get info. And there's other benefits as well, Koopo. Do we actually get from other clan members? Sometimes, Koopo. I'm not getting in your way, am I, Mont Blanc? Koopa-po. Not at all. Thanks, Mont Blanc. koopa -o. Busy from here on out, Koopa. Hope you're ready. Yes, it will. So, that will, I believe, be an episode. Had the clan to the main map war. So we can now see fine information. Feast of Sons is done. Kaiser Knuckles. Shit has mastered first aid. Mont Blanc has mastered fire, thunder, and blizzard. So now we have various people who've mastered abilities, we can now actually go and upgrade things. And also, we now have Nubswood, which we will put in position there. Meaning, we have some treasure here. Got another chain plate. Not brilliant, but we'll take it. Another soft, which is a random item, and we have that Cyril. 